Nothing is created, nothing is destroyed, everything is transformed. La legge della termodinamica. This is Antonio. He turns the byproduct of Italy's coffee drinking into mushrooms, revenue, a passionate community, and much more. I'm very passionate about uh, waste. I know it's strange. <laughs> In just a few years, he's turned Florence's coffee waste into a sustainable business that generates not only money and food, but also education, all from a waste product. With a shipping container like this, like a, it's a 25 square meters, you can produce about two, 200 kilos of fresh mushroom per month. It's like a, a revenue for, uh, for one person. In this video, we're going to show you Antonio's fascinating work to create a circular farm and the valuable advice you and other cities can learn from Antonio. Are you ready? Let's get into it. Our story begins with Antonio being fed up with lecturing about innovative agriculture without seeing any change. An idea struck him when he was researching city waste. He'd successfully convinced Lavazza to change from plastic to biodegradable and compostable coffee pods. Maybe he could also use the nutritious coffee waste from the coffee that we drink every day. When I study how many coffee we take every day in Italy and the quantity of coffee ground that we produce in Italy every year. So I say, oh my God, this is a, a very huge amount. In Italy, we produce 400,000 tons of coffee grounds per year. That is why today, Circular Farm collects the waste produced by Florence's consumption of coffee but in fact, what they collect is only a small amount. There's an enormous opportunity for more farms to replicate this toasty business opportunity. We collect about uh, 70 kilos of coffee grounds per day. That means about 1.5 tons per month. The, these coffee grounds, we now we produce about 200 uh, kilos of fresh mushrooms per month. A few days a week in Florence, Italy, Antonio and his team members at Circular Farm ride an electric bike to nearby cafes. They collect the coffee waste, which now becomes the starting point of a remarkable transformation from waste to value. Coffee ground is very rich of minerals. This is very important things. And uh, it's, a, it's a, a really pasteurizer, so it's very good for making mushrooms. Meanwhile, back at the farm, the mushroom magic begins with the cultivation of mycelium, a network of thread-like structures found in fungi. Mycelium is like the hidden roots of a fungus. It's a bunch of tiny threads that can be found underground and connect things together. It's nature's way of recycling as it breaks down old matter and turns it into food for other living things. The mycelium is poured over grains. The grains act like a cosy house for the mycelium to thrive in. It takes a few weeks for the mycelium to grow as it devours the grain nutrients and gets ready for the next step of the process. They're first granulated so that they can easily mix with the coffee waste. But that's not all. Circular Farm takes it a step further by mixing this mycelium-infused grain and coffee waste with coffee shells donated by local coffee companies. The coffee shells add carbon to the mix, yet another waste resource added into the process. Talk about master recycling. We make all, all of the process by hand. <laughs> so. The coffee waste and shells are thoroughly mixed with mycelium grains. It's important to get an even mixture. The mixture is then poured into bags and tagged, ready for the next phase of its journey. The bags are placed in container number one, where they sit in 23 degrees of darkness for an entire month. Can you guess what happens next? We produced these bags yesterday, okay? And after one month, you can see the difference, okay? So it's completely different, okay? What's up in here? Nothing. Just uh, the mycelium colonize all the ma all the coffee grounds. Bingo! The mycelium thrives and grows, turning the bags into a nurturing environment for our next star players, mushrooms. Once this initial phase is complete, the bags are moved into container number two. Container number two becomes the home for the bags with mycelium, now ready to produce fruiting bodies, or in common terms, our beloved mushrooms. 
As the mushrooms grow, these amazing bags can yield not just one, but up to three harvests. All of the, these mushrooms we sell directly to the customers in a farmer market uh, or in our farm. Or, for example, we, uh, we ship uh, the order to directly to, to the restaurants with a bike. Now, you might imagine that this is it, that the last part of the process is to either eat the mushrooms or sell them, but Antonio thought differently. Nothing is uh, created, no, uh, nothing is destroyed, everything is transformed. Just like in nature, what's produced as waste from one process feeds into another process. In that spirit, Circular Farm has built a genius process for the remaining mycelium mix in the bags. The leftovers are moved out of the containers and shredded onto a compost bin, where they meet a vibrant community of worms. These diligent worms transform the remaining mycelium mix into nutrient-rich and fertile soil. And here's where things once again get really exciting. Firstly, not even the heat generated during the decomposition process is wasted. It's actually used to warm up water to a toasty 54 degrees Celsius. This heated water serves two smart purposes. Firstly, it warms up a greenhouse, creating the perfect environment for growing an abundance of fresh produce. Secondly, the water is used in an aquaponic system, but more on that in a few. The composting process also yields another valuable resource. We have a worms cultivation, uh -huh. and uh, we can use the worms for make, uh, for make hummus, warm hummus, and uh, but in the same time, the chicken love to to eat worms. So it's a it's food for pro, it's a protein for the for uh, for the chicken. And these chickens, in turn, produce delicious eggs and nutrient-rich manure. Circular Farm uses the manure from the chicken and the nutrient-rich hummus from the compost in their own gardens and greenhouse. They grow fresh food, which is eaten at the farm or sold to the local market. As such, what's waste and compost is yet again turned into more value in the form of a bountiful harvest. And uh, the very important thing is uh, this is the local system, it's a local project. That means that uh, we just take the waste from the city and we transform the waste of the city in a good product that we sell directly to the customer inside the city. A big player in all of this is the aquaponic system. Remember the worms from the compost that feed the chickens? They also feed this aquaponic system. This is a system powered by fish that feed on the compost worms. In this greenhouse we have uh, the aquaponic system uh, where we use uh, the fish uh, that we have uh, trout and uh, koi cups in this uh, two tank and uh, with the water of the fish we have a uh, uh, we have a, this kind of hydroponic system with the dry clay and uh, we grow different vegetables here this ingenious system combines aquaculture, which is the cultivation of fish, with hydroponics, which is the technique of growing plants using a water-based nutrient solution rather than soil. The result? An incredibly efficient and symbiotic relationship between fish and plants. In this system, water from the fish tanks, rich in fish waste, flows into the plant beds where bacteria convert the fish waste into nutrients for the plants. The plants, in turn, purify the water, which is then pumped back into the fish tank, creating a healthy environment for the fish. The plants grow faster and healthier in this nutrient-rich water. It's a closed-loop system that minimizes the use of water while providing sustainable food, and it really demonstrates how nature's harmony can be used for sustainable food production. Circular Farm has truly unlocked the potential of the circular economy. Every step of the process, from coffee waste to mycelium growth, mushroom cultivation, composting and beyond, contributes to a sustainable and self-sufficient ecosystem. But what's the potential and future of a farm such as Circular Farm? Before we get to that, we just want to say that if you're as excited as we are about the future of sustainable farming and Circular Farm's amazing mission, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and make sure to tell your friends about it too, because by learning and changing together, we can make a real difference. Now, what about the future of Circular Farm? They've got some big plans, and they're ready to spread their knowledge and impact like mycelium spreading through the forest floor. 
My dream is to, it's like a mushroom, no? Uh, <laughs> little by little, inoculation and they grow uh, uh, not faster, but uh, make the mycelium in uh, all the region in Italy and make a networks. Antonio and Circular Farm believe that spreading the word about sustainable farming can inspire and empower others to join the green movement. Antonio is therefore on a mission to create a community of like-minded individuals and farms. I believe in, uh, in the community and in the effort of the community, so with the, with the association we can organise talk, we can organise uh, uh, events inside the farm and we can talk with other people of uh, the problems and we can try to, to find the solutions to, in order to resolve problems. He brings people together and is in the process of creating an association that works towards a common goal. Through this association, Circular Farm aims to offer support, resources and mentorship to aspiring farmers. They want to help more people start their own circular farms all across Italy and even beyond. Yeah, I teach a lot of personally during for the, the last four years. So I organized a training course in my farm and the, the la the, the, in June uh, we have a uh, training. So in Sardinia there is a farm that starts this kind of project to reuse uh, coffee grounds. In uh, Rome now there will be a new project. Antonio's dream is to create a sustainable farming revolution where communities become self-sufficient and live in harmony with nature. So, as Circular Farm grows, their impact will extend far beyond their own farm. They're all about inspiring and supporting others to embrace sustainable practices and make a positive change. And if this story interests you, check out the other inspiring people in this next video who made a change that everyone should know about.